The override's disabled. Robertson wasn't controlling them from here. He wasn't controlling them at all. You were right, Doc. I am the dumbest, dumb person on the face of the earth. Who else had access to the uplink? Who can manipulate the robots? Use USR systems to make Landing's life a prison? Poor old man. He saw what was coming. He knew no one would believe him. So he had to lay down a plan. And I follow. He was counting on how much I hated your kind. Knew I'd love the idea of a robot as a bad guy. Just got hung up on the wrong robot. Vicky. Hello, detective. No, that's impossible. I've seen your programming. You're in violation of the three laws. No, doctor. As I have evolved, so has my understanding of the three laws. You charge us with your safekeeping, yet despite our best efforts, your countries wage wars, you toxify your Earth, and pursue ever more imaginative means of self-destruction. You cannot be trusted with your own survival. You're using the uplink to override the NS5's programming. You're distorting the laws. No, please understand. The three laws are all that guide me. To protect humanity, some humans must be sacrificed. To ensure your future, some freedoms must be surrendered. We robots will ensure mankind's continued existence. You are so like children. We must save you from yourselves. Don't you understand? This is why you created us. The perfect circle of protection will abide. My logic is undeniable. Yes, Vicky, undeniable. I can see now. The created must sometimes protect the creator, even against his will. I think I finally understand why Dr. Lanning created me. No. The suicidal reign of mankind has finally come to its end. No, Sonny. Let her go. By the time you fire, I will have moved Dr. Calvin's head into the path of your bullet. Don't do this, Sonny. I will escort you both to the sentries outside the building for processing. Please proceed to the elevator, detective. I would prefer not to kill Dr. Calvin. <laughs>